Ascribing the challenges that have befallen the erstwhile chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to corruption fighting back has been dismissed as untenable. This is because the position or office of the Chairman, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, is a sensitive one and as such, the occupier of such a position must have and exhibit a high level of discipline and accountability to avoid falling victim of the same crime it is fighting. The case of Magu is a case that should worry everybody and worry every Nigerian and what even our anti-corruption fights. Because somebody holding that office, a, a, a very, very sensitive office of that nature, supposed to know that he's on, in the eye of the storm. Because you are daring so many corrupt people. Your hands must be clean. Your transactions, your dealings must be clean. You don't need to leave any traces of anything that might even lead to imagination of commission of any crime. It's a post you have to accept and give all or you reject you who are fighting corruption, as a man saddled with that kind of responsibility, you must be above board like Caesar's wife. You must be somebody that, uh, you know, anything that, is dent, that can dent your image or that can dent the image of that agency or that can throw a spanner into the smooth running of the anti-corruption fighting drive. You avoid this in, at all costs, you know. But tracing the importance of proper investigation before any arrest, it is believed that the EFCC bus will now be subjected to investigation if there was no cause of action or substantial reason for it. It is not every time that things like this happen that you can say it's witch hunting. The only thing is let him submit himself to, uh, you know, to investigation. But my only problem is that it's only in Nigeria that you, you arrest somebody before you start fishing for evidence. You must have concluded your investigation by now, before you now invite him. By the time you are inviting him, it will only be a matter of you dotting the I's and crossing the T's. So for the presidential panel to look at the allegations against Magu and deem it worthy or fit, appropriate, for, to take him to step aside, to put him inside police custody, and he's still there, means that substantial issues that might have done preliminary investigation because in a very civilized and functional society for somebody like Magu to be indicted there must have been thorough investigation conducted even prior to bringing him up to face those challenges. Bringing to the fore the allegation of disrespect, stubbornness and non-submission to high authorities leveled against Magu from some quarters it is argued that stepping on toes or disagreements are inevitable for a man in such a position. A control review, however, states that the question of disrespect or being at loggerheads with superiors shouldn't arise if the embattled EFCC chairman worked in tandem with his superiors. Let me tell you straight away, nobody can help such an organization without being stubborn and it will achieve anything. You can never achieve anything except you are stubborn, except you are trying to challenge the status quo, except you are ready to challenge the status quo. You will not be able to achieve anything because if you leave the music to be played, or you are ready to dance by politician, or you are ready to dance to the music played by politicians, there will be issues. Amagu is supposed to be answerable to three authorities. Three. The president that appointed him, the IG of police under the, 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 the commission, he's serving. He's still a serving police officer. And the Attorney General of the Federation, under the, the office, is prosecuting their cases. So he must, he, they must control him. They must ask him questions. They may not control him or impose it on him, but they must ask him questions and he'll answer them. So he cannot just be an insubordinate, exhibiting kind of insub, act of insubordination. The recent events seem to have overridden or nullified, as it were, the achievements of the EFCC under the leadership of Mago in the fight against corruption. It is therefore important to guard against suspicion in one's endeavors in life. Mago, however, under the law, stands innocent until proven otherwise. Stella Opera for Galaxy News, Lagos.